Jason and Dennis pull it out of the pond. What are you doing? I'm fishing for a drone. The things not to do. Shut it off and try it again. Yeah. How's it going folks? I'm Mike with Drone Deer Recovery. I have to show you guys this video because it is absolutely crazy. Like my mind is still trying to figure out how this happened. But we had Agris T40 this morning go down in this pond. We were doing some testing on flight um, with batteries, how long uh, it takes to charge them and how long it can fly. Anyhow, we were doing that and the battery got low and at 5% the drone lands, it automatically lands. And it just happened to be over this pond. Drone lands in the pond and I'm like, you know, game over. Drone's trash, it's junk, it's not gonna work. Like, I mean, electronics, it was sunk in, in the pond. So I was like, forget this whole thing, write it off, $20,000 loss, right? And we kept working, doing other things. We left it there because I was like, the heck with it, why spend my time pulling this drone out of there right now when it's when it's trash? And uh, so finally we got around to it, pulled it out. Four and a half hours, it was sunk in the pond. Jason and Dennis pull it out of the pond. Here's, you know, the results of them pulling it out. They took that little paddle boat, paddled over here, hooked it up and uh, pulled it out of the pond. I didn't video them uh, like on the boat because I was, I, again, I was like, it's trash, it's junk, it's not gonna work. But here's the video of them pulling it out of the pond, getting it up on the bank and then powering it on and then flying it back down to the shop. What are you doing? Fishing for a drone. He's fishing for a drone. You got a hold of one. The things not to do. We just got done dragging this out of the water. Holy crap. It did something. It did something. <laughs> we got muck down there on the bottom like crazy. We're going to see if it still flies after being drowned. We're going to see what happens. What's it saying? A couple errors. Propulsion system error. It's critical. It's critical error. I wonder why. <laughs> but hey, the battery still worked. Oh man, that would have been cool. Shut it off and try it again. Yeah. It was still yeah, running. You don't, ever hear it. you don't ever hear it. That's what we heard when we pulled it out. Sounds hey. a little weak. But. What if it gives worked? me hope? Hex, get back. Are you kidding me? Dude. <laughs> um, I don't feel safe. That thing is freaking flying after being completely underwater for how many hours? Many hours. Hey, you're putting mud on my truck. That is absolutely insane. Look at the muck hanging on the bottom of that thing. So, what are you That's thinking right now, Mike? We're trying to figure <laughs> out why it works. There's no, there's no... Like the radar, the There sensors. was. There was a sensor error propulsion. Um, yeah. But then we, I restarted it and... I'm trying no to error. figure out why it works. Because they're it, it, badass. <laughs> well, we took it up again and it's flying again. We're still a little bit shocked. Mike can't believe yeah, it at all. Can't believe it. But I have to believe it. So <laughs> what do you think, Karen? <laughs> I would have lost a lot of money if I would have bet. That's yeah, I would have never bet. That's and the first thing I said. Jay looked at me and he walked away. I was like, it's trash. Like, you might as well just take it and throw in the garden. We're going to see how well it works in like three, four weeks yeah. once the yeah. corrosion sets in. Fly it around long enough, it'll be dried out. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to run until it heats up. <laughs> Don't land it in the pond again, though. I mean, it, not, it. it's just it's My getting it out. went from horrible to pretty good. Hey. <laughs> Still has the muck hanging on the bottom. Uh, it was about 9.30 yeah. when it went down. Because I got here and it was oh, yeah. in the air, yeah. and I got here just after what 9. What time is it now? 2.30, 5 hours. 
Yeah. So five hours underwater. It's insane. So I just have to show you guys this because some of you folks have said that, oh, I'm sponsored by DJI or whatever. And I'm totally not sponsored by DJI, but DJI, if you're watching this, you know, we would entertain a, you know, a sponsorship contract or whatever. Anyhow, we are not sponsored by DJI. Why do I fly DJI? Because I believe it is the best drone technology that's made right now in the United States, in the world. They own 75% of the drone market. So I'm just like, it's the best drone. Here's another test of why I like DJI. And I didn't realize they were able to make the T40 waterproof, not water resistant, waterproof. It sat under the water for four and a half hours, took the battery out, put a new battery in, powered it on and flew it off. So yeah, it's just, it's crazy. And I just can't believe it. But it is in fact true. I'm gonna walk down here right now and I'm gonna show you guys the drone. It had a lot of uh, mud on it when they pulled it out, but Jason sprayed it down and the thing still works. Well, we're gonna see, you know, what it looks like in another month or so, but this is it. This is the drone. There's still some moss. I mean, I just, it's crazy crazy my thing is i just believe that everything is sealed so well inside here that that's why it's working if you guys need t40 drones you want to get into the agricultural stuff let us know we are i'll give you a little sneak peek we are releasing our very own trailer once it's ready i will make a full video on it but if you guys want to get into the agricultural drone spraying industry reach out to us because it's going to be wild. I'm telling you right now, it will be the largest industry that drones uh, are a part of for a while here in America. So we'll see you guys on the next one.